Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? So we're going to be talking about my rally trip today. And of course, uh, it's still in the progress. You know, it's in progress. Yeah, I'm, uh, you know, I'm currently at about a million or so right now and about 340,000 and then another mil. Now, yes, I know some of you out there are like, that ain't a rally trip. I know you're not. I know. I know. Calm down. All right. <laughs> I got another mil to go in both two brackets, and I should be pretty darn close to being able to rally trap successfully. Um, of course, you know, obviously, when I get to that point, we will be doing a heck of a lot more of these rally trap videos that you guys have been saying on YouTube. But anyway, so obviously, you know, one of the things that I've been kind of doing is I've been stockpiling. Now, obviously, you can say I've got a bunch of infirms, and I know some of you out there are like, well, you're not printing troops officially. Look. I am not trying to print a gajillion troops in one go, so no worries. I am just practically doing what any normal person does. I build up speeds. And so, you know, at the moment I got some speeds and then I got some gems. You know, it's just a little, a little bit of both, you know, that's just kind of how it goes. You know, you try to do a little bit of tandem. That's just kind of how it is, you know. But obviously, whatever I'm trying to build up, one of the real problems that you'll have whenever you try to build up, right, is that you gotta stay shielded. 99.9%. .9%. Now, you know, fortunately for me, I haven't yet to have to, you know, really worry about this drastically. As you can tell, happens quite a bit. But uh, you know, it's it's yeah, uh, it's you know, it obviously comes with its criticals and it's you know, it's kind of a it's how do you say it stresses people out, especially like me. Uh but <laughs> uh one of the things that I'm doing right now is I'm actually preparing. All right, so this guy here happens to have a little over a, he's got about a, you know, he's pretty close to a billion in timber, and he's got about half a billion in stone, and I'm, I've been keeping my eye on this guy, because I know he's got good stuff. I'm just waiting for the day that he unshields, or really anybody in their guild, because I've come to find out that they're really wealthy, and that really, if they've got something, I'm going to probably take a crack at it, but obviously, one of the things that you know, my, at least my strategy for building a rally trap, right, is you got to get them gems and then you got to get them speeds and you got to get them resources. It's a kind of a combination of all three. Now, it's not easy. OK, I mean, one of the things that I will say about it is you got to have decent gear. Now, obviously, this is, you know, this is the gear that I'm going to currently use for the time being for both infantry and range. Could it be better? Obviously, yes. But, <laughs> you know, like anything, you'll notice that the jewel set up here, you, I've only got three attack jewels for all three types in those two pieces, and really three pieces. But I do that because those are really the only three pieces that I'm going to use them in. And because I'm going to be focusing on an infantry range setup, that's how I will do it. Now, when I actually go into rally trap mode, you want to use, I would say, probably this particular set, which is just to buff up the attack stats as much as freaking possible. Now, there's no harm in putting like a 50% bonus into HP, but I think that at that point, once you've got all of your infirms made and you basically go ahead and destroy the rest of these, it's really not necessary. But obviously when, when I'm building up like this, right, then one of the things that I will show you is, is that yes, I do have a cav set. So I do have two pieces of blue champ pieces in here that Okay, it does a fairly decent amount of cav attack, all right? It's about 400 or so. It's pretty darn good. But on a good day, right? And this is kind of the new, how do you say, the the new goal, which is to find a way to basically do 400% across. And that's, you know, again, a little tricky because obviously you've got to manage to be able to do not 200, 300, and 400, but 400, 400, 400. Now, that can be a little tricky, especially when... <laughs> Well, you know, if, if your gear is kind of thrown off balance like mine is, especially since, you know, in order to really perf like perform a 400% bonus, you've got to take attack jewels and put them all in your gear. And then you've got to go a step further than that by having most of this stuff at gold, more than likely. And that's just, again, it's a lot to do. Um, obviously, uh, I've been going through and I've been doing some sigil research. Uh, so I've got, you know, some of these pieces here that I'm getting up to three. Of course, I'm working on the attack stats first and then the HP and then eventually everything else later. Um, and I, again, in case you're wondering, am I buying it in five and 20 packs? I am. Um, I've thought about going like 50 and 100, but I've decided that that's really not, not my cup of tea. Cause I really can't see, I really just don't think I can pull that off. Uh. At least, yeah, just, yeah, just, no, I don't think I can, but, um, eh, five bucks a pop, it's not, not so bad. Um, 
so, you know, I've been working on that and that's kind of where I'm at with the Sudger research. So I am doing it. Um, of course, you know, one of the things that I will stress though is obviously yes. Okay. For those of you out there who have never met me, obviously I've been playing this game for about a year. Um, and I've got mostly all army attack heroes at this point. So it's not really a huge deal. Um, yes, I am still working on another hero. I've got Berserker and Dream Witch, hopefully Berserker soon. Um, but obviously, you know, those are all side projects. Um, now, of course, you know, one of the questions I have for you guys is, is it's basically, you know, whenever you're trying to build up, all right, I, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this issue, but basically, what do you guys do when you run out of food? Now, because see, in my case, right, I know some of you guys out there are probably suggesting, ah, but just make up food hyper, you know, just just do that or go attack players or, or, or just capitulate, <laughs> you know, and I, I understand, you know, those are some of the common ways to do it. And obviously, I know some people out there will also like, well, I, I, I pay for the for them for them resources, and it's like, all right, fine, fine, I understand. But even still, the only other option I feel that people like myself have is when we're burning, you know, about say twenty million food every hour. Uh, what do you do to sensibly produce enough food? Okay, you know, because, I mean, really, realistically, a good batch of tier four takes about 100 mil, at least. Just a batch, like a couple like a couple thousand, like tens of thousands. Um, it, it really goes by pretty quick at five mil a pop. Um, you know, because assuming you did six, you know, 6K each. Now, I, I will say, right, that, you know, I, I it has come to my, mm, how do you say, my mind's mind that I, what I should do is go through and actually get the subsidies. Now, I was thinking, yeah, that's probably not a bad idea, but it takes an enormous amount of time. And so I've kind of been 50-50 uh, on this, where I'm like, well, I could do the subsidies, um, and I could just as easily go back down and try to finish these researches and grab another army. I could just as easily go down the you know, military command branch and try to finish off these. But obviously, like any other little side project, it's like, eh... So it's on the way, but obviously, you know, I, I, like I said, you know, guys, it's just, I, it's kind of a, I'm indifferent at the moment. I just don't really, uh, don't really know where to go with this. You know, it's just efficiency of efficiency sake. I'd love to, you know, kind of more about what, how big of a difference a subsidy would do in my case. Cause pretty recently, and I don't know if any of you guys are out there, but I'd love to know this answer, but how big of a difference is it going to be for somebody like me to go from 30% to 4% on the troop production? Because one of the things that I was thinking about was, well, 30% does sound like quite a bit compared to 4% on the resources. And I thought, well, you know, build more tier four for less resources. Hmm, not a bad idea. So I was thinking maybe that's what I need to be investing more time into, but I don't know. Obviously, like anything, it, it takes an enormous amount of effort. Um, and of course, you know, I, I've been doing my, you know, familiars, like, you know, like I promised, you know, I've uh, pretty much at this point, guys, I am pretty close, I'd say. I'm actually at this point, I'm at eight and sevens. I'm not very far away of getting packed four at all. Um, but of course, you know, like anything, you know, it, it takes an enormous amount of time. So I don't know, you know, it's just at, at the current time, obviously, uh, you know, I've got I've got a trove coming up here in 11 days, but I mean, really, it's kind of, I'm kind of like, I'm stopped kind of in my production phase. There's not really a whole lot I can do to build up from here. And I don't know, you know, I let me know what you guys think, you know, and obviously, like I said, you know, I'm, I'm doing what I can, you know, it's, it's just, it takes a lot of effort to get a rally trap built. And then once I do have it built, then God knows how long I'll be able to keep it. But hopefully, you know, for those of you guys out there that are still trying to build up and you're still trying to, you know, build a rally trap and you're kind of curious, you know, on like, what does eat, what eats a rally? What doesn't eat a rally? What I do know is, is that, you know, if the people that are doing this and doing it successfully, all right, are doing it in quite a large batch of tier four. And I, I think the, the easiest answer really to any of these kind of batches that I've seen is that almost every time they're trying to keep it under 600 K on the end firm. That's like the main goal here. And so obviously, you know, by keeping this in the mid to four to 500 K range is totally acceptable, you know, and you just kind of want to make sure that I think personally, right. It, it, what your ultimate aim here is, is that you're going to be in the right phalanx, meaning that, you know, if somebody sends gab, you're in range. Okay. That's a given. And that you're basically going to jack up as much of reinforcements you can possibly get 
etc. Okay. And the game goal here is that you're going to try and maximize that amount of damage that you can possibly do. And so that means you've got to have a fairly decent amount of tier four in here. Now, when it comes to actually getting them to hit you, I think that's a lot more tricky. I think if anything, I think what you'll have to do is you have to pop like a three day, 24 hour. You got to regularly turn on an air. You can't, you know, you can't give them any indication that you're online at all. You know, in some extreme cases, I've seen people that, well, quite literally, the they they don't actually. Uh, oh, here I'll show you in this you know, the description below. But like, there are some people out there that are quite literally, you know, they don't even they don't even wear any war gear or they're not online or vice versa. So I know it's it's not entirely out of the question, you know, to do something like this. But needless to say, I, I let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time.